long in the tooth, best seen. Kitchen. Bo opens the refrigerator and takes out a mason jar filled with crimson colored fluid. Pours some into two shot glasses, then peeks around to make sure no one's looking. He fishes around his breast pocket, removes a plastic baggie of white powder, then pours the powder into each shot glass and stirs them with a spoon. Oh, baby bat! Yeah? I got something for you. What? Tana enters the kitchen and sees the shots of blood. Aha! Kitchen. Bo hands her one of the shot glasses. Let's not fight. Fine. I don't like it either. Bo leans into her. Are you my vampire bride? Yes. Say it. I am your vampire bride. For how long? This life and the next one. Ready? They hold their glasses up and look into one another's eyes. Darkness, Darkness everlasting. everlasting. They down the shots and kiss. It's freezing in here. I'm getting a sweater. Tana exits the kitchen. Fred enters. Can I trouble you for a glass of water? Bo fills up a glass of water and hands it to Fred, who drinks it. Fred notices the empty glasses with red substance. Gothic techno music creeps into the kitchen. What? Bo smirks. Something a little stronger. Meaning what? You might have a heart attack if I told you. Fred fixes Bo with a cool look. Yeah, I've drunk snake wine in China and scorpion vodka in Mexico. I've had hundred-year-old absinthe in Paris. I think I can handle it. Tana re-enters the kitchen. He wants to know what we're drinking. Tana shakes her head. It's human blood. Tana glares at Bo. Human blood? Where'd you get it? Bo shrugs. We didn't kill anybody for it. Yet. Why are you kids drinking blood? You wouldn't understand. You try me. Tana looks at Bo. He shrugs. It has special properties. Like what? Bacteria? Tana rolls her eyes and exits the kitchen. Fred and Bo follow her. I'm sorry, Tana. I, I was concerned. For your safety. Thanks, Grandpa. Fred ignores Bo and turns to Tana. How does it make you feel when you drink it? Amazing. Amazing how? Like you're drinking in the night and you'll never die. Fred's eyes widen. Why? Are you curious? Interior, kitchen, moments later. Bo covertly adds powder to another shot glass of blood. Interior, living room. Bo enters holding the mason jar of blood. Here you go. Fred takes the glass and looks at Tana. She shrugs. Fred drinks it down and grimaces. He takes deep breaths. Give it some time. Living room, a few minutes later. Fred stands up. He blinks, breathes in and out, nodding his head. He grips and ungrips his hands. Tana and Bo share a look. Fred starts pacing around the room. So? Remarkable. I, I assumed I wouldn't feel anything. That's because the normies don't want you to know its facts. Who are the normies? Normal people. They want you to think blood drinking is for freaks because they don't want you to know the rush it gives you. Fred nods at the mason jar of blood. Another shot of liquid night. Tana hands the shot to Fred. He lifts it to his lips. Wait! Fred pauses. This time you should say something. Like what? We say to darkness everlasting, but you can say whatever you want. Fred considers. To life extended. Fred hesitates, then knocks it back. He grimaces at the strange flavor of the cocktail. Tana smiles. The other goth kids whoop and cheer. Interior, living room, later. The group, including Fred, sits on the furniture, half watching Nosferatu. Angie gets up and puts on the doors, playing the changeling. Fred gets up and starts pacing around. The doors, right? You know them? 1967, right? When everyone else was listening to Sergeant Pepper, I was in the strange days. TV screen. Nosferatu leans over the sleeping body of Nina. Jim Morrison sings, I'm the air you breathe, the food you eat, friends you meet in the sullen street. Fred gets to his feet and heads off the bath to the bathroom again. Bathroom. Fred finishes peeing into the toilet and flushes. Then he glances at himself in the mirror. See me change. Fred stares into his own eyes. He stands there a moment studying his pupils, bobbing his head to the music. Interior, living room. The sounds of the party grow distorted and up-tempo. Bo dances with Angie. Fred stands and reaches for Tana's hand. She lets herself be pulled onto her feet. You know how to rumba? 
Ramba, no. Nothing to it. Fred pulls Tana to him, then gently spins her. Bo stops dancing with Angie and watches. Tana starts to get into it. Yeah, you've got it. They continue dancing. Fred dips her expertly. Tana giggles. You could learn something, Bo. Bo seethes quietly. Interior, living room, much later. Fred stands before the goth kids. He looks tired, but amped. Thank you all for a memorable night. Okay if I borrow this bow? He holds up the door's CD. Go nuts, Granddad. Thanks for the ride home, Fred, and for the talk. She gets up and gives him a hug. Fred says his goodnight to Pete and Angie, bows and leaves. He's totally cool, huh? If you're into rotten flesh. Just shut up. Interior, Fred's Oldsmobile, minutes later. Fred drives. The changeling continues to play in the car. Fred pulls up to a red light, idling beside a sports car. Exterior, road, night. The light changes and the sports car guns it. So does Fred. The road begins narrowing to one lane. Both cars bear down, jockeying for position. The sports car wins, barely. At the next light, the young driver, 20s, looks over at Fred and does a double take. When he sees he's been racing an old man, Fred grins and sings along with Jim Morrison. Ch -ch change 